Hello friends, uh, in this tutorial I will uh, show you how to convection as well as conduction analysis done in INC software. So there is one block or element. So this is a total size of 2 meter by 3 meter. So width is a 2 meter and height is a 3 meter. Then uh, uh, there is a temperature is a given. So top side is a temperature 120 degree Celsius. And uh, right side there is a 650 degree Celsius. And there is a bottom side, there is a convection is applied. So convection is at 20 watt per meter square degree Celsius. And there is a bulk temperature also given. So this is a 20 degree Celsius. And this object, there is a thermal conductivity is a 54 watt per meter degree Celsius. And uh, left side, there is a wall insulation. Okay, so how to uh, apply convection as well as a conduction? Uh, in ANSYS. So let's start. Okay, so click on the pre preferences and uh, click on the thermal, then OK. Now go to preprocessor, element type, add. So element type is a solid and uh, uh, plane 55. Okay, so quad 4 node 55. Then if you have suppose apply thickness so you have to choose here from plain thickness okay so i will never choose then click on a metal property metal model then uh, thermal conductivity isotropic so thermal conductivity is a 54 then uh, 54 okay go to material and exit now create a area so go to modeling create area rectangle by two corners so first corner is a zero means x zero y zero width is a two and height is a three meter then okay okay so area is a create now go to next process is the meshing so in a meshing go to size control manual size area all area so element sizes we have to apply 0 0.01 then uh, ok then go to mesh area free area select this ok ok so this is a uh, Meshing is done now. Now, after meshing, you have to go to solution analysis type, new analysis. This is a steady state condition. Okay. Then go to sorry, go to define load, apply thermal constraint. So there is a thermal thermal constraint. Uh, total of four side thermal constraint. Sorry, three side and one side is a wall insulation. So go to temperature on a line. So top side select and OK. There is a temperature 120 degrees Celsius. Then apply. Then right side wall select OK. There is a 650 degrees Celsius. Click on OK. Now uh, temperature by conduction is over now. So, in a temperature, <clears throat> okay, so, now we have to apply a convection, so thermal, convection on a line, select a bottom area or bottom line, not a area, line, then okay, so there is a, uh, there is a film uh, coefficient is a i and j value so we have to select the i value and fill coefficient h is equal to 20 and bulk temperature also 20 degrees celsius okay then uh, click on ok after that uh, there is a wall insulation uh, left side so we have to wall insulation but apply convection is a uh, zero 
value so go to conviction again line select this line okay and uh, film coefficient there is a zero there is a no bulk temperature so select okay after that go to solve current ls means load step okay okay then uh, solutions are done now close close okay after that go to general post processing then uh, plot result can to plot not a solution then degree of freedom solution not a temperature okay okay so this is a conduction as well as convection thermal analysis uh, with the help of ansys you have to again find out the tabulated value go to list result then uh, not a solution degree of freedom solution not a temperature and okay so we have to find out uh, each and every node how much temperature is uh, in that given or uh, rises you have to see here okay so thank you